The Tijuana Cholos begin their Liga MX season on Saturday against Guadalajara, and they're looking to continue the run of success that they had last season when they advanced to the semifinals. Rubio Rubin joined the Cholos in the middle of last season, and he joins me in studio now. And Rubio, with as close as you got to winning it all last season, how much motivation does that give this team coming into this season? I think a lot. I think, you know, for us, we want to get to uh, the finals. We want to push for that. And obviously we know it's very difficult, especially when every team, you know, is coming for you and stuff. And just to simply qualify is our main goal right now, to qualify for the playoffs and, you know, start off the season in, in a good way. And uh, what a great way to start against, you know, one of the biggest teams in Mexico, Chivas. And hopefully, you know, we play at home and get a good fan base out. It's all sold out and, you know, hopefully we get a W. You, you're 22 years old, you grew up in Oregon, then you went to Europe, you went to Holland, then uh, Norway, now you're in Mexico. H how do you get such a circuitous route to coming here to play for the Cholos? Honestly, I you know, decided to go to Europe at a young age just because it's every kid's dream. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, just made the decision to, to come to Mexico uh, just, just like a few months ago. And uh, I think it was a decision from my parents, you know, just because I'm, you know, Mexican and from Guatemala. Uh -huh. And uh, honestly, I grew up watching all these big teams like Chivas, you know, and uh, America and stuff like that. And, you know, it was always a dream for me to play in the Liga MX. You also are a member of the U.S. men's national mm -hmm. senior team at, at a very young age, at the age of 22. Mm -hmm. A lot of disappointment in amongst Americans that the U.S. did not qualify for the World Cup. I'm sure uh, you were all disappointed as well. Mm -hmm. Watching the World Cup, watching France win a team that, that the U.S. men's national team tied one all in a friendly right before the World Cup began. What kind of motivation do you have now to make sure that you don't miss out on 2022? I mean, I think... We're the youth, you know, a lot of the players and the youth are motivated to, to showcase, you know, I think, you know, for myself and I can speak for a lot of players on the team, I think we, we realize it's our time, you know, it's, it's not about who the older players are now, I think we, we know that it's the youth's time and, you know, that definitely is motiva motivation right there just with the youth coming in and uh, just to qualify, you know, and just not to have that much pressure on ourselves, but at the same time, you know, trust our abilities and just trust you know all the the stuff we learned at a young age and just going at it and uh, you know we, we're not going to qualify you know until two or three years from now but at the same time you know we gotta you gotta start now the new the new um, the new boys are in town mm -hmm. that's what we like to say so you know I'm excited about it you know it's important for me to also uh, continue to grow as a player and hopefully uh, you know be part of that squad so yeah it's interesting you say that the new boys are in town because when you think of the U.S. men's national team, you think of Josie Altidore, Clint mm -hmm. Dempsey. These are older guys who yeah. you know, may be on their way out before 2022. Mm -hmm. What is the young crop like of, of players? I mean, I think, you know, respect to all the older players. Mm -hmm. You know, I think uh, when I made my debut when I was 18 with the men's national team, I learned a lot from, you know, Josie Altidore, guys that I looked up to. Um, but I just think, you know, having, you know, new players, new faces, you know, new, new energy, new... Um, you know, also having that, that, that like thorn in yourself that says <laughs> we didn't qualify. Right. And, you know, all over the world, you know, they don't see us as, you know, a superior country in soccer. Mm -hmm. So, or in football, where they call it the rest of the world. So it's just that, that extra bit of motivational just to keep going and uh, to fight and to prove ourselves. And, you know, that's going to be the, the most important thing for us. You open the season Saturday against uh, Guadalajara at Estadio Caliente. What's the atmosphere going to be like uh, on opening day? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, I can't, the Masacre, the fan base, it's just, it's a different level, a different culture in Mexico when it comes to football. And uh, just excited about it. You know, it's going to be, it's a full stadium. Uh, and it's just going to be, a, it's going to be a good game, man. Yeah. Rubio Rubin, striker for the Cholos, thank you so much for stopping by. Good luck to you in your debut and the season that starts on Saturday. Thank you, Troy.